all right so i'm here to show you this cool synergy um i've been i've been thinking on it for a while and this event just kind of was just like the perfect opportunity to give it a try so and you know i like to just jump straight into the topic i don't feel like boring y'all so Heretics, of course, as you know, whenever they're tributed, they special summon a normal monster from the deck, blah, blah, blah. So any card that can tribute them, technically speaking, has synergy with them. Because instead of going negative, you get a bonus. Like with Monster Gate, you actually plus off of the Monster Gate. Well, you go neutral, you go neutral, but, um, you know, there's a lot of synergy there. So this bad boy, Stardust Synchron, says you could tribute one monster and special summon it which is fantastic because now we have this play where we're able to actually go into uh, shooting majestic dragon relatively easy in a heretic deck you just you do have to hard open the stardust synchron i think you can play tuning if you really want to make it like more consistent but um i don't think it was allowed for this event but if you wanted to make a deck like an actual heretic deck surrounding it i think the possibility is there so I'm going to fast forward just a bit. Uh, this duel is not a very long one. Um, just some Red Eyes player. I could have infirmed it, but I was just like, I want to see if this is Toons or if this is actual um, Red Eyes and it's actual Red Eyes. So um, there's also, I'm also running in this deck um, a small Dragonity package, very small. Uh, three Whirlwinds and then two Ducks, two of the level three tuners. Um, essentially to get to the seven to then go into trident dragon or my ruddy rose dragon um these two are pretty much the closest generic dragons that you can play in this like you can you have to have a dragon to get to the shooting majestic and the simplest way is just having a one and a ten um so i technically have two routes i can whirlwind and get into um either of these and if i heart drew the uh either the level one or the spell card or something like that and you know it's very easy to to make this happen off of the whirlwind but whirlwind also doubles because um as you can tell this deck is kind of designed to go second so having whirlwind means that i could also just use them to go into um just your original black rose dragon blow up the field and then just kind of play from there um, or black rose moonlight if it doesn't require all that much extra and i want to keep a body on the field to the tribute off to kind of play through some more so that's there and i also just have clear wing because why not um you can make crystal wing in this deck but that's not why we're here so make the heretic and uh, i wanted to make sure none of this back row could blow me up so I'm gonna still use um, Sue for his actual effect. And I have all these other dragons just kind of here for some synergy. Um, but I'm like, this is the card I needed to not draw. Um, but of course I drew it. Cause this is a four tuner. This is a normal six. And this allows me when I, uh, so let me slow it down. So the actual combo is as long as you can tribute a heretic, you special start a synchron, he searches arrive in light. Um, because you tributed a heretic, you get to special summon a dragon. We special summon this non-tuner dragon level six. So you have your four and you put your that thing on top of the deck and then you synchro, of course, into ready rolls. Now this also has a pretty cool interaction. You don't necessarily need your graveyard that much. Um, this is the only normal monster that you would end up losing in that scenario. And you're completely fine losing it. Um, this is really the only interaction that he has in the deck, which is why I was so terrible at him. But he's really the only interact, like that's his whole purpose. So if you're playing against somebody who has important cards in the graveyard, you could just blow it up with Ruddy Rose Dragon. It's totally fine. Um, and then of course you synchro off. You always do arrive in light first. And then if you already use Ruddy Rose Dragon, do that second. So um, it doesn't interfere because this is a, uh, a win effect when you draw this card. So if that is chain link two, it does not proc and it will not allow you to special summon it. Um, and I put this in here because uh, there's surprisingly some synergy. Um, when you special summon it, you can actually target the majestic dragon to get another heretic dragon to your hand. So I thought that was a pretty cool synergy to have there. 
But in this case, I went with my Kaiser Glider, which uh, has funny interactions as well because it's a quick defect, a quick effect tribute. Um, so if your opponent's like you special your dragon and they're using, I don't know, trap hole, you can tribute the dragon and special it instead. Um, even more fun fact is because it's a, a trigger effect, when you tribute to dragon, your field is empty. So if you actually have Dragonity Whirlwind, you can tribute your monster to then special this guy, activate Whirlwind to get your Whirlwind going. Because, uh, you know, Sue uh, Tefnuit requires you to have no monsters on the field. So there's a little bit of confliction there. But um, having both this and uh, the level four, where did you go? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, he goes here. Um, so having him, he also has that same kind of attribute where you tribute and then you have that window. So like you can actually still use your whirlwind in between. That came up in testing uh, where you can do your whole uh, Dragonity combo line there and still get your uh, Heretic engine going at the same time. So these two, there, there's a surprising synergy there that I wasn't accounting for that worked out. And then boom, you get to shooting Majestic Dragon. Um, there was a lot of different routes I could have taken here. I could have went into Stardust Dragon even by tributing this off instead, making this... Oh, wait, I could make Stardust, but I went with this route just because I was like, eh, I want to just kind of do some damage. Just a red eye, didn't go do nothing. So went with my Black Rose Moonlight -like Dragon to send that back to the hand. And uh, it's pretty much game from here. Um, nothing too, too crazy. It's a red eyes deck. He, I, I guess, drew red eyes fusion. And um, that doesn't mean anything in front of Black Rose Moonlight -like Dragon. And it's actually what caused him to lose because then he just bounces back to his hand and or his fusion deck. I didn't even bother negating it just in case he actually had a better play that I needed my negate for. And uh, I don't bully, so I just go ahead and attack. And that's the combo. Um, obviously, because there's so many more tuners and stuff, like you have a lot of different synergies that you can go into. Um, I will do a quick showing of what the deck looks like. But honestly, the only cards that really matter is the cards that I've shown you. Oh, this train. I love the train. And I definitely don't have time to redo this. <laughs> so, sorry for the train. I can't stop it. But. Uh, the, the core still here is pretty much the same. All your heretics, your three searchers. I actually play this because this comes up often enough. Um, since it's so much lower power, I don't have reasoning. Um, there are times where I'll just open this and like one of these two dragons. So I can just special it and still kind of play from there. Um, ideally, you go second because your Tefnuit is online. Your Whirlwind is online. I'm also playing my control. Uh, my control comes up from time to time as an option um oddly enough i draw into my dragoon my monsters more than i draw in the whirlwind like every time i'll open two of the exact same monster before i open one whirlwind it's absolutely absurd i don't know how that works but and if i drop it the one whirlwind immediately dies because it's a garnet you have to special them from the deck so whatever it still came out to a clean 40. Um, in terms of the normal monsters, I went with these, but um, you can still put the two in here, which I may decide to put the two back in. So I have an easier route to um, Scarlight, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Stardust Dragon for obvious reasons. Um, so I will probably end up putting the, the level two tuner back in there. I wish there was a level four tuner. It would make things a lot easier, but they said no. Uh, you only need one arriving light. Um, I am playing three of the synchrons, but I think you could make, um, I mean, if you have tuning, you may not need to have to run as many. Um, typical board breakers, these come up because you're going second, so you need them, and Lightning Storm is out. Uh, Red Eyes and Dragoonity Armagram are just in case type of options. They're kind of backup options. If you do draw them and you already made your play, then they're great. Otherwise, they can be a little bricky, but the deck itself is kind of inherently bricky on its own and um i have these in here but honestly this was like an old variant that i was running where these came up and now they no longer come up so you can really just ignore them i'm not using them uh so that I could give you a little bit more leeway if you wanted to try to start off with this slate and then go from there um 
but yeah that's pretty much the combo I, I wanted to show off this interaction and you know just kind of bring it to you guys before the event is over in case you wanted to you know you've already got all your your gems and stuff you just kind of wanted to mess around or whatever i think this is fun don't take it too seriously you saw my opponent was in gold that's how we got to win um that was actually the first duel with the updated version i made some more tweaks um specifically um with using ruddy rose dragon because i was previously using ascension sky dragon which i can put back in there i was previously using him but the issue was is if you summon him his effect is mandatory and then arrive in light always goes second so he actually conflicts which is why i had to go for another generic level 10 dragon and ruddy rose dragon uh to pull this off because i was previously running it which didn't matter when i was running whirlwind to get into this line because it didn't matter because uh, my first level 7 tank row would have already did the arriving light for me and you know everything's fine there um, and one emperor so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys I gotta get back to work before they bother me uh, but I want to show you this guy show you this while I had the time catch y'all later